During tax season, people are often coming into tax offices and just shopping around. They want to know, hey, can you give me an estimate? What do you think I might be getting back as a refund? Well, you might not want to take all of your time to create a return, create a record in your database. In this case, you can use the refund calculator. The refund calculator opens up a separate window and it asks you some very basic information. How old is the primary taxpayer? We'll enter 32 and next we're asked are you married? Let's set this to yes. What is your spouse's age? We'll say the spouse is 31. Are you filing jointly? We'll set this to yes. I'm going to click next. Next, we're asked, can someone claim you as a dependent on their return? We'll leave this at no. Total number of dependents. We're looking at the family size now. Total number of dependents. I'm going to enter two dependents. And the number of dependents, 16 or younger. Again, we'll enter two. And the number of dependents under 13 that received daycare. We'll say that both dependents received daycare or had daycare expenses. I'm going to click next and now I'm asked to enter the taxable wages for the taxpayer the main taxpayer on the return we will enter thirty five thousand dollars and the federal withholdings will enter twenty one hundred and we'll say that the spouse's taxable wages let's say that she had fifteen thousand and she had a thousand dollars in federal withholdings. We'll bypass the state withholdings and unemployment and so forth. I'm going to click Next. This moves us to the Deductions button and we'll say that uh, there, was no there were no medical expenses, there was no home mortgage, no donations, anything of that nature. So I'm going to click Next. This moves us to the Credits section of the refund calculator and let's say they had child care expenses like we've already indicated and the total amount of daycare expenses for both children let's say was four thousand dollars I'm going to click next and here we can see the estimated refund amount that's based on the information that we entered into the refund calculator now of course you'll want to remind your client this number could change depending on the circumstances that arise when you put the actual W-2s and enter the actual information into the tax program. Anyway, that's the refund calculator in short. Thanks for watching.